All right, welcome back, everybody. We're playing Komei is the way. We are we are just transforming Japanese society. That's what we're doing right now in the uh, the We Play Games channel. We are transforming Japanese society. We're transforming Japanese society, and I'm not playing like amazingly well, but I'm not I'm not a I'm not a screaming idiot, and we will try to respect that. In the mean in the meanwhile, if you are even better than me, then you if you and you, again I've, I've I've hinted at this in in literally every single thing that I've ever made. I'm not I'm not good at following my uh my construction around with road maintenance. That's a skill issue. That I got nothing else for you. That's, that's, that's I'm going to try to not be a, a be a dummy, but that's a skill issue. There's nothing else there for you. Um move it around. Construction efficiency is good. It's going to make you feel really good. You you I promise you're going to feel great. You're going to feel great. Uh-huh. That's the way it is. So here we are. It's Komei is the way. We've got a nice little campaign. We're working on colonial resettlement. Once we've gotten, we're, we've given up on Sakhalin. I'm not going to try to fight with the Russians for space over there because I just don't care. I, it doesn't matter. I don't need it. I don't need it. If I'm doing a campaign, I don't need it. If I'm doing a speed run, I don't need it. I don't need it. If you're doing a campaign, you need um, Hokkaido, which is which is why I'm doing Hokkaido right now through colonization and and the the other thing that i'm telling you is that by repeating it in every single episode i want to make sure that you understand how true it is like i'm not telling you that to mislead you i'm telling you that because it does not matter and the people who think it's matter it matters mechanically i want to see video evidence all right um so now we've built that so now we're going to come back and we are going to build a a little bit of a tool industry here in kansai we're gonna build two levels of tools. And the reason that we're building two levels of tools is twofold. Um, that the two levels of tools are gonna to use a little bit of uh, wood, which is gonna help balance out wood prices because wood, wood prices are a little low now actually, but it's also gonna let us use some iron in something. So so meanwhile, while, uh, while all of the politicking is going on behind the scenes, the Emperor Komei is sending out like letters to people and trying to get them very, carefully to invest in the things that he's recommending for the good of the nation and and that's that's going to be important because the things that you build are going to serious and where you build them are going to seriously impact the outcome for your nation construction in case you don't understand the way that this is going to work we're going to build a bunch of places and those those places are going to have a bunch of pops it's just like, i, I, I want to watch this guy like a hawk because if he dies i'm i need to respond um and once we get colonization done, actually, we will do military reorganization because that's that's sort of what we're doing is after the uh, we have we have things that I think are useful checkpoints in terms of time, both for yourself. If you're a speedrunner, just like I this is where I recommend doing this. And then also for yourself is just like a player because it'll help you it, it like you can spreadsheet it and I'm sure there's a way to do it better. But. I think this is probably like a 90th percentile strat. I, I think this build order is going to help you a lot. And I, I think you're going to see why. The The other thing is I just like, I, I, I don't know why I keep getting caught up on caring about my pops. They're worthless. They are absolutely worthless. The humans are just garbage. They're just terrible. So I'm, I'm switching over to tools here. And, and unfortunately, I do not currently have any tools, but I do have a tool manufacturing thing going on in Kansai. And, and that means that uh, as this place hires, and it will hire because now there's a demand. It wasn't hiring before because there was no demand because like we didn't have any tools. But it's hiring. Let's move over there. Things are great. And then after that, we're going to come back and we're going to go to a tooling workshop. Um, Discord within Buddhist monks. That's not great. That's not great. I, I love interest group pop attraction, um, and that just means that like there was a public speech that he delivered that he was drunk for. That's that's what happened. That is what happened. <laughs> that's just the truth. It is exactly what happened. Um, this user interface is nonsense. I need ways to like get rid of some of those those tooltips. And if if you know how to do that, if you know how to permanently banish this to Shadow Realm, I'd love to do it. I just like I don't care. I don't I don't care. I don't want to know about that. Don't ever tell me about that, because because I think one of the problems that people are experiencing is that there's just not there's noise. There's noise. This means nothing, and I don't need to know about it. And the fact that it pops up distracts me from the things that are that are useful. That's useful. Right, the monthly price report is useful because the monthly price report is going to tell me 
at a glance, is the strategy of aligning our work our tool shop uh, with the uh, logging camps working? And yes, is the answer. Yes, is the answer because now the tools have come down in price. But because they have come down in price, that means that we've hired enough of them to actually supplement there, and that means that we have even more tools floating around. Because so that's that's told me that now I can just go through and start putting tools on stuff. Having tools is not is is never bad. If if you don't know what I'm talking about, like honest to God, honest to God, cut down a tree with an axe and then cut down a tree with a size. These are not the same thing. It's not. It's not. It's not the same thing. All right, we are working on iron mines, actually. So now we've got a level two iron mine over here. So again, we're going to do the same thing to just kind of like kickstart our, our demand for iron. We're going to start using it in the tooling workshop. And unfortunately, that is going to cause a slowdown in terms of like the, the access to tools for our, our logging camps. But it doesn't matter. It's fine. It is fine. And we continue to drive up demand for our tools tool demand it's, it's pretty good i recommend tool demand tool demand this is going to be some iron we're getting some iron from over here and um we should we should be fine we should be fine we're building, we're doing research on academia, we're working on our colonial resettlement. The only thing that I would probably restart for is if they started colonizing Hokkaido. That I, that I would restart for that, and it would be the same basic idea. So if that happens, I don't know what I would do. Maybe I would just let them colonize it and then make them give it to me. Because that's something that, like, you pretty reliably, if you take colonization first, it doesn't matter what the AI does, you might lose Sakhalin. That's a coin flip. You're, if you get colonization first, you get Hokkaido. I promise. It, it's impossible for it to not happen. If you do it, it is impossible for it to not happen. Um, that, one's, that, one's, that one's random chance. So I'm, I'm recording these videos right now, just kind of like one after another after another. So I'm, I'm going to sprinkle into it basic mechanical things so that way people understand what we're doing. So what we're doing right now is trying to get colonial resettlement done once this is done, then we've got some like some some more uh, galaxy brain stuff to do that I'm that I'm proud to to share with everybody. Stuff that we've been doing on the the speed running things, but things that translate extremely well to a campaign. And again, I again a role playing campaign because because Kome is is not Emperor Meiji. He he did not like Westerners. He was raised in a so. At, during this time, there's like Dutch studies going on, and a lot of people are trying to learn Dutch in order to learn the languages out there, and and that's interesting, and it's causing and because the the Dutch have a a little artificial island out here, and they're the only the only foreigners who are allowed to interact with uh, Sakoku Japan. They're the only ones who are allowed to do it. Other people do sometimes do it, but it's that it is illegal. Um, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? Middle managers, right, we got middle managers happy. Whoa, 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 the petit bourgeoisie are gonna be really, f they're gonna be really helpful in this. That's something that, that was a little affected because I did know that that could happen. I've had this happen in a test stream, but I wanna emphasize that to you, that marginalized interest groups, they can be really helpful and knowing what they are can be really helpful. After the Shogunate, I think the next most important thing, if you can get it, is a petit bourgeoisie who is jingoist. That's also j ridiculously good for you. Because bureaucracy and loan interest rate that you really don't have to do anything for is gonna make your your uh, your run a lot stronger. That one, I don't that's not worth re-rolling for, I think. I didn't even re-roll for it. It just happened to be a jingoist, and then I re-rolled him. But if he happens to be a jingoist, good lord, is it good for you? It's it's incredible how good it is for you, because the petit bourgeoisie, and I'm gonna do this whenever we do an Ottoman campaign. I think the Ottoman campaign is probably gonna be a similar one to this one, where I'm gonna do it as as uh, mostly an, as, as an educational tool more than anything else, because I just I love this. I love Mahmoud II. I love the Ottoman Empire, and I don't I don't. 
I don't want to ruin the beauty that is the Ottoman Empire by by having me be an idiot there, but I'll find another campaign after the Manifesto Destiny to be done with. It'll probably be something map painty. Those those are pretty easy to be done with because like once you get strong enough, you can just kind of like do whatever whatever you want to, whatever you want to. You can do whatever you want to. Maybe it'll be France. France seems like they'd be really good to do whatever you want to with. And and I understand that like apparently there's Pondicherry stuff going on. I don't even disagree with this. The AIs should be stronger. Why is everyone complaining about a, a strong France? Thank God for France. Put thank God for France in the in the chat if you if you thank God for France. Because if it wasn't for France, then in like Manifesto Destiny, we would have been stronger than absolutely everybody in the world combined by like 1860. Because they and nobody else had the ability to stop us. They still don't really. We will fight them. We're having a good time. Um, maybe I'm gonna get myself worked up and start kill, killing France in in another campaign in the other one. Camp. But 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 maybe maybe we'll maybe we'll be France in the next one because they seem like they'd be pretty good to be done with. But but um, Japan is complicated and and you need to pay attention. And I think Ottomans are gonna be the same way where they're complicated and there's a lot of interesting things. And I don't want to have to entertain you. When I play the Ottomans, I want you to be enraptured because because you've played them before and they were very difficult and you had no idea what you were supposed to do and you died and then you found the video and then you and then you fell in love with the with the mad story that I'm about to tell you that's what I that's what I want to do in that campaign and that's what I want to do in this campaign um so colonial resettlement we got it great we did it perfect so now the transformation will be complete I'm gonna I'm gonna transform the government and then I'm going to set up our new stuff, and then that'll probably be the end of the episode. So, we've successfully um, convinced the Emperor, or convinced the Shogun, to to allow us to push the, the Ainu out of Hokkaido. That's what we're doing. That's what we did, right? That is exactly what we did. Tell me that's exactly what we did. Post in chat if you know that that is exactly what we did. Uh, I'm going to stop improving relations here, because we'll come back. We will come back, but the way this is going to work is once that's back um why oh we don't need that anymore we don't need that anymore either we are gonna we're gonna do a little bit of colonization in oceania just because some of these are gonna be really easy to 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 grab because they're colonizing states with with like literally one state and then that's just free population you probably want to yeah i don't know maybe you do do colonization in a speed run first but not because of hokkaido because you get pops and pops get you money especially in unincorporated states they just they generate resources for you and they you know they demand parts i don't know i don't know i don't know everybody this is a this is an important decision fork actually i think if you're speed running don't do colonization because i'm gonna have to build ports out here and that's dumb and i don't like building ports but it is the right thing to do um <laughs> jesus christ walker we're talking about politics I'm going to make a little bit of a building plan and then now yeah, we'll do the building plan in the next episode. We're doing politics and then we're done. Uh, so the Shogunate, the Shogunate has done. Yes, you can you can go into Hokkaido and we rub our hands with Glee and we say that's great news. That is incredible news because I have I have heard that there is a. Um, we need the peasants in order to have a way to pass an act uh, abolish serfdom. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to come over here. We're going to remove the tax on grain. We're also going to do tea time now. So we're going to remove the tea. Tea time is the term that I have coined for myself. That at a certain point in time, you just you you really should remove all of the tea being made on the provinces that you're trying to develop. Because they're going to get in the way. They are going to get in the way. Like Sometimes you're going to run out of infra infrastructure before you get railways. Um, and they're just... they're Tea plantations are terrible when when all your pops are poor and all your pops are going to be poor because you're just going to take all their money all their time all the time so that's tea time that is tea time and we've done it and because we were taxing tea as one of our luxury goods and now we've removed it i just don't care about that that's fine and we're going to come over here we're going to suppress this we're going to come over here we're going to bolster this we're going to come over here and we're going to bolster this and then I think actually probably in addition to tea time, I think we're going to go ahead and reorganize the army. So we're going to reorganize the army. 
do not do this do not do this until after you have passed colonialism if and the 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 colony law if you don't understand why let me know i will i will tell you but do not do it it is very bad um the right way to do it is what i'm showing you right now i i think you probably can remove your army entirely if you want to if you want the budget but i don't think i do and i do not want to encourage an ai to declare war on me because that's annoying i just don't want to have to fight a war if i don't have to mandatory service service is going to be really helpful this is this is where if you had re-rolled into a pacifist eventually you'll get to national militia oh jesus walker 15 minutes 15 minutes 15 minutes that's the that's the new organization of the government um we are now going to go over here and we're going to start abolishing serfdom that's what we're going to do we are we are suppressing the shogunate bolstering buddhist monks bolstering peasants as our economy grows we are going to drop both of those as well and start bolstering the intelligentsia there's no reason to do it right now because we have not yet built uh, our universities but we might in the next episode so join us for that uh, uh, here on on kome is the way which is going to be our, our educational slash tutorial role play video uh, campaign for for Japan here on We Play Games.